What's good, world? This your boy, Brandon P. Yo, what's up? This is Beacon Light. Yo, what up? This is Derek Miner. What's up, y'all? It's your boy, Brandon. Yo, this is George Rose. What's good, everybody? It's your boy, Miles Minnick, and you are tuned in to Oxen Brand Music. Let's glow. All right, all right, all right. What up, ladies and gentlemen? What up, ladies and gentlemen? We are back for another Mix Mondays. What up? My name is DJ Integrity. Welcome to Mix Mondays, hosted and powered by Oxen Brand Music. Jazu Savage, you see the merch, you see the guitar every single week. We here, we here. Uh, and I don't know how life has been going for you. I know uh, some people in my personal life, there's been some really hard, heavy stuff. All right. But uh, if you are tuned in now, if you're watching this back on the replay on YouTube, um, you're here for a reason. I don't know what the reason is, but you're here for a reason. So, uh, and as always, we're unofficially sponsored by Chick fil A Sweet Tea. And if you didn't already know this, in case you've been having a hard day or hard week, hard month, hard 24 i don't know you're the best part of today all right chick-fil-a just wants you to know that that's all it is all right they encouraging you and they taking care of you at the same time speaking of being taken care of we want to take care of you guys musically so we guys got you guys covered if you do not know about um don't know if you did not know about our spotify playlist uh we've got our smooth vibes our crate diggers uh which i have just recently updated as well so we've got you guys covered there of course for my workout people if you still made it through february Okay, and you're grinding or you're like, you know what? I'm about to give up. This might be the list. That might be the playlist that you need to get you back into. It. I don't know. Or to keep you going. Either way, for my rock people, we got you guys covered with On The Rock. And then, of course, also uh, just updated as well, our lo-fi music, our OxFi, which I guarantee you does not have slow, sleepy time lo-fi that comes out of nowhere. Okay, if you listen to that list, I'm going to tell you. It's going to be groovy the entire time. And if you guys are watching on Twitch right now and you haven't done so already, what are you doing? Subscribe to our YouTube. That's where you're going to see a lot of this content. That's where you're going to see some exclusive YouTube uh, lives uh, exclusively on there. So make sure you guys don't miss out on that. Now, without further ado, we're going to go ahead and go right into it because our guest for this evening, I, I, I mean, he's special, but I can't even really call him special guest because at, at what point... What what point do you just go? You know what? You're not really my guest anymore. Now you just family. Like you just straight up family, and there ain't no way around it. So, give it up for the homie, Kiwi Morse. Back Yo, what's up? What's up, bro? You good? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So man, good to have you back on, man. Thanks for having me, bro. Yeah, yeah, bro. You uh, as always, as always, you've been grinding. You've been doing your thing. Uh, yes, as Nisha said, you've been family. Okay, we have, we have to wait to say that now. You big right, right. family. Uh, but yeah, bro. So um, you're always on the grind. You're always on the move. Let us know. I mean, gosh, it is just February. What's already been going on? How did 23 first off? How did 23 close out for you? And then how did 24 mm. open up for you, man? Let me know. Shoot, shoot. 2023 closed out good. Um, I would say, man, last year we did, you know, 73 events which was crazy. Yeah. Um, we had a song go viral. Um, my wife got her visa. Hey, come um, on, let's go. I know, know what that like, means, baby. Yeah, we here. We here to stay. We celebrating. So, yep. So, man, God is good. 2024 kicked off right. We started the tour. Um, yeah, man, we got some good things, big things in the work. So, yeah, bro. That's God is up. good, bro. That's what's up. Yeah. Oh man, I'm I'm happy for your wife because again, I I know what that means. Uh, and and actually, my uh my permanent resident card is gonna go up this year, so I have to hurry Whoa. to make that decision. Either go ahead and get renew it, or be like one of y'all. Right. 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 <laughs> and, and I can no longer use the joke to be like oh, that's an American thing. That ain't me. <laughs> right. Right. Because <laughs> then at that point, I kind of will be. Right, bro. No, for real, man. Yeah. So you know, you know, you know the intensity of that. Yeah. It's crazy. Yeah. Fees, all that. Yeah. Well, especially and then, and uh and my wife has a, a good friend who from uh Honduras and uh when her visa went out, uh she had to mm -hmm. she had to go back home and then it was like, yep. yo, it's going to take forever in a day cuz that government is not opening up doors and this that, and the other and yeah, you yeah. So, so very, very happy, very happy for your wife. Now, 
Uh, yes, you. you are a family man. Uh, you are uh, married with your son, King, mm-hmm. um, and still been taking him out on the road and all that. How that? How's that going? Yeah, I've been taking him out, man. We actually we leave. We got we got some shows coming up next week. Mm. Hand back on the road, man. So you know, full time okay. dad, full time. Yeah, you know all that family, man. So artists, all that. Yeah. So. Yeah, man. So, okay. So, uh, you said 24 opened up real good. Um, now though 23 closed good, 24 is opening up good. Uh, mm-hmm. I just, I want to get right into it because again, there, there are so many different things that you've done, uh, or in that you're yeah. currently doing, right. You've got, uh, cultivate culture, right. You, you've got your clothing brand that, um, I, I think if I recall, you had it in the mall and then, uh, mm-hmm. not long ago you had to close down the kiosk there. I took um, it down. Kind of yeah. Can you kind of tell us a little bit about that, man? So, uh, man, I had to kind of like, man, I watched the sermon, uh, and you know, it kind of encouraged me. Mm. You know, when you got to go a different direction, mm-hmm. so many times you think you failed. Mm. Just because you have, just because you pivot yep. in life, doesn't mean you failed. So yes, they sir. end up spark sparking up the rent and. To a crazy amount where I was like, yo, that don't even make sense. Kind of makes sense. So I just made a conscious decision, man, to get out of there. And uh, we're going to open back the online store next week. So it's, you know, we, we, you know, planted some seeds in the mall. But when it, when it's time to go, it's time to go. We pivoted, yeah. but we didn't fail. We did it, man. We conquered. Yeah. Yeah. No, that's a good point, man. That's a good point. You are not a failure just because you have to pivot, right? Um, yeah. I mean, sports-wise, you know, analogy-wise, uh, you're, you're, you're not a failure because you put a shot up and you missed, or you're not a failure Boom. because uh, you, you got trapped, right? You got double yep. team, right? Finances, life, this, that, and the other, whatever, and then you had to kick mm-hmm. it out and reset. Like, that's not right. that's not failing uh, in a sense. What, what would you – how would you kind of define – failure uh for yourself when 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 it comes to this point then i would say i'm failing when i've given up on like Mm -hmm. not having enough faith in myself to continue to push on that's when i failed like Mm. or when i forget how strong the one i serve is like that's when i fail i can't i can't fail (laughs) like and if I do, it's like, you know, I, I still didn't fail because I, I don't know, man. Yeah. I, I believe in God and I believe that, like, yeah, he, he'll he carry you through those times where you think you failed. Like, you really ain't. Fa- it's just a, it's just a part of the journey. Yeah. Yeah. It's a, it's a detour. No, yeah, that's good. Well. Uh, you know, it comes, it comes down to who your foundation is, right? What's your foundation, Mm -hmm. right? If your foundation is, uh, needing to make this much money, um, uh, and you know, have this much in your bank account to feel like you've got some kind of validity in whatever your, whatever circles you're in, uh, then yeah. Then when the number goes down a little bit, it starts making you sweat. Um, come on. (laughs) Yeah. Yeah. I get that, man. Yeah. So, okay, so uh, with adversity, right, because adversity is just bound to happen, right? So um, could you, and obviously, as always, feel free to share whatever you're most comfortable sharing. But Mm -hmm. when it comes to the different things that you are a part of um, with performing, with being a father, with being a husband, uh, with your clothing brand, uh, with working uh, with with organizations as well, um, Mm -hmm. And you can go anywhere, but what are what yeah. are some adversities that you've had to uh, that you've had to work through in a way that challenged you, right? Because because some adversities are like, ah, oh, dang, well they you know somebody's no longer sponsoring me, then you know I got to right. move on here. That's that is an adversity, but there's the the what I want to focus on are are the ones that you not only had challenging you, but that you had to grow in order to either overcome or to uh, persevere through it? Mm. Oh, I can get, all right, I can get a little deep. Um, So, like, you know, people see you as a, you know, full-time tour artist, right? Just mm-hmm. to kind of rip the Band-Aid off of that. Like, you can be full-time 
and things don't make sense. Mm. Um, so, yeah. you know, I was working with an organization, you know, can't say names or whatever, but, yeah, yeah. um, you know, I went from getting paid, you know, you know, X amount, which was, you know, you could pay your, your, your bills in one setting hey. to like, you know, feeling like, dang, when I got that pay cut, like, dang, how am I going to survive? So now through that adversity, mm. now I've learned to, you know, pick up a camera. I'm about to, um, people don't know this, but I'm a cameraman behind the scenes. People don't know this is my like T coat. So Brandon Lakin, if we're coming up here, um, I'm be his cameraman when hey. it comes to, Batman. but Come people, <laughs> let's go. So, so like the adversity that I face from getting pay cuts or having to figure out everything, like I, I just add another hustle or I add another grind or I acquire another skill set to combat that adversity. You know, yeah, I'm losing money. I don't own the house rents do you know the first i gotta grind man so yeah. bro and for the last couple like eight months i've been producing so my first you know beat a few weeks ago like hey I'm a, fig- I'm a fig- i'm a i'm gonna figure it out so yeah that's kind of like that adversity piece i you have to figure it out you know you have to supplement um whatever you know adversity going through so that's kind of that's kind of mine i wear a lot of hats bro and you know that feeling too mm-hmm. we a dj we are you know a fam family guys yeah we just we wear a ton of hats until we can delegate them right so that's yeah. kind of how i deal with adversity i wear i, I wear all the hats <laughs> <laughs> <He's>... <laughs> like, just uh four o'clock okay this hat going on you working oh yeah. it's nine o'clock get gotta well, put this one back on <laughs> They don't know, bro. Like, you got to wear those hats until it makes sense to delegate it. Mm-hmm. Like, there's, what's that saying? Like, um, what, uh, master, jack of all trades, master none. Right. There, there's a, there's more to that saying. Mm-hmm. I, I can't, I can't think of it, but there's more to that saying where it's like, it's not bad to be a, uh, jack of all trades, basically. Yeah. You know? Yeah. yeah I don't yeah, want to yeah. delegate, but. Through adversity, I'm I'm gonna get it. I'm gonna get it out the mud. Figure yeah, no, that's good. So so um, I I like that you pointed out the the fact that being a jack of all trade is not necessarily a bad thing, uh, mm-hmm. because like for both of our instances, um, we become so versatile that if you're not booking us for one of those hats that we wear you are booking yep. us for another, right? And so, and yep. that's great, right? That That's definitely helpful. Um, are there ever any times though that you've ever thought to yourself, but if I could just pour everything into this mm-hmm. one thing, could I see it going further than right. trying to do all of this at the same time? Yeah, like, but you gotta think, like everybody not trying to book a rapper Ain't nobody just trying to get yelled at. You know what I mean? Yeah, like, yeah. Rappers yeah. tend to like, yo, I'm getting booked for shows. Like, I'd rather, m- my, most of my bookings come from me setting the, the tone of the room, aka being a DJ. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Somebody that's talking, but I ain't talking the whole time. I'm just, you know what I mean? Like, mm-hmm. I, we, so yeah, I would want to pour more into just being an artist. But I have to take this hat right here, aka the DJ hat, the videographer hat, you know, the yeah. graphic designer hat, and pour into that artistry until it can go itself. Yeah. You know, I'm not I'm not getting booked ton, ton, ton as a rapper. I'm getting booked as these other and I'm pouring into that. Yeah. Yeah, um, I, I could definitely yeah, I could definitely attest to that because again, we are doing a lot of similar things. Yeah. Uh, and yeah, I can, I can agree that like, bro, when I became a DJ, I, I knew I was going to be useful for events. Cause as long as people have events, there's music. And of course, if there's music, people don't want to think mm-hmm. about music. So they want somebody else who thinks about music. Right. Right. To do that, right? right. So I, I get that. Um, however, I, I did not know, um, 
I did not know that being a DJ then it was like not like oh man like everybody wants to book me or whatever but people would have more conversations with me than they would yep. have with some of my friends who are artists cuz it's yep. like for artists it's like oh that's cool like oh you do music oh that's cool okay yeah yeah like oh you got that many streams oh, okay cool so mm -hmm. hey we got this event coming up <laughs> and look at right. me instead and i'm just like uh uh yeah but you were just talking about music with this guy it's like yeah 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 but we got an event and we want to do a dance party or uh we want you know we want some transitions we want you know something to be happening kind of uh all yes the time. then they'll be like oh hey and can you MC as well like would you mind right. hosting stuff yes. yeah bro it's yeah so you know it's, it's almost like, like a, uh <laughs> it's not like hey everybody should be a dj but at the same time hey if you are a dj and you're just decent <laughs> just decent to be honest um you can, get by. you can get yeah you can definitely go somewhere now okay so then question back to the the question of like would you want to pour all have you ever thought about like man what would it be like if i poured into djing not even necessarily mobile djing right because there's different elements uh or, or different avenues with djing or whatever but um have you ever kind of thought to yourself man like if i kind of if i if i slowed down with the music thing or if i stopped you know uh with with the with the merch for a little while and stopped getting all these different overheads, you know, with, with the, mm -hmm. with getting beats and this, that, and the other, even though you're, you're doing a lot of those things now. Um, mm -hmm. Have you ever thought about like, man, if I really pursued this DJ thing, I could, I could probably keep traveling around and be someone else's DJ and still be able to rap my songs with their sets. Yeah. That's, that's, that's actually fire. Dang. That's actually fire. I, I always like tend to, when people book me for a DJ, like mm -hmm. I tend to rap anyway, cause they like, yeah, yo, yep. bro, do that one song, and I'm like, I'm already setting the vibe. All I gotta do is <laughs> right, right. All right. I gotta do is press play. You like, just listen to them. <laughs> yeah, I listen to them. They like, bro, play good day, play tell them I said it. Oh, bro, do you got we outside in there? Well, then now it's like, all right, now I'm rapping, and now it's like, I'm not making it about me, but I'm. What do you want? Yeah. And that adds value and that gets you booked again. That gets mm -hmm. you booked over and over where you're like, dang, I done been at this spot like five times. I mm -hmm. would want to pour into just one, but I feel I'm cool with having an umbrella. Yeah. Cause I, I think having an umbrella, like I said, the DJ gig may slow down, but yeah. Yep. You know, it may be festival season where they need to fill a slot and I come in as the artist. Yeah. Or in this case, in this Grand Rapids case, for the Van Andel, they need to fill a videographer. Yeah. I, uh, let me wear that hat. You're not even, I'm going to go in there with them. You're not even going to know I rap. Right. <laughs> You're not going to, I ain't going to say nothing about rap. I'm here to do camera work. Yep. Like, I know when the, <laughs> I know what hat I'm wearing. That mm. mug, it might be a little sideways, but I know what hat I'm wearing. That's good, man. That's good. That's yeah. good. Yeah. And actually, the the reason why I say that that's good is that because there are people who, um, yes, you do a lot of different things, but, and and I get caught on this too, right? So I'm I'm not mm -hmm. I'm not free from this, but I'll be as they're asking me like, oh yeah, you know, like what do you do or whatever. I I tend to overshare all the different things mm -hmm. that I do. And being honest with myself, I can't say if I'm honest because I, right. you obviously, you can't lie to yourself, right? You, you lie to yourself after a while. Right. You just, it's just weird. Uh, but uh, being honest with myself, there are times where I'm trying to tell you everything that I do in hopes that you see that there is more value in me because right. I can do all these other things. Now yeah. has, has God allowed that and blessed that? Yes, my, my heart might have been in the right place. Or maybe he was like, Hey, listen, I was going to get this to you anyways just as long as you keep submitting it to me and you know you're gonna get yourself right i'm gonna keep you right. you know rolling in the situation uh but are there also other times where it seemed like i was overreaching yes right yeah right that's real that's real that's yeah. real I so hats like off you to you for being able to serve in one capacity and if it gets brought up cool if it doesn't no one will ever know nobody will ever know bro let, and and I use Instagram as my 
like portfolio or whatever. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Per, per have you like, so I, you, I, if I came in here as an artist and then you go back and follow me on Instagram, you're like, Oh shoot, this dude DJing, mm -hmm. this dude yeah. got the merch, this dude. So that's, that's kind of like the portfolio. Like yep. I'm here for what I'm, what you got me here for. Yep. And then you will see whatever else is there. Like people didn't know I produce until you go right on my page. Yeah. And you can see me producing. Like, what the heck? Why he didn't say that? I don't need to. Hmm. Like that's good. Not right now. That's good. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Just you know, your your work will show for it. Um mm -hmm. you know, somebody else come up or whatever. I mean, it's kinda like uh kinda like people like uh Jackie Hill Perry, right? Like a yep. lot of people know her far more um, as right now as a you know podcaster, right? YouTube preacher, mm -hmm. you know they they because that's just how much the content is on that. But right. Then, you know people forgot that she did poetry, and then people really forgot that she rapped until right. not too long ago when she had dropped. Well, I say not too long ago, but it was a couple months at least now when she dropped uh, herself just going off uh, on her IG, mm -hmm. and people were like. Oh my gosh! Like, I did not like know no. and it's like, oh yeah, oh she been doing this, yeah. She been doing this. Like, you just caught her in a different, yeah, and yeah. with a different hat on. So, so what are um, and, and you can take it from any situation that you've actually personally have, but um, have had go through. But back back with the adversity thing, just because. And the reason why I want to camp on this is that. Mm -hmm. Even though I was I was joking around, you know, with the Spotify playlist and talking about, you know, if you're still in the gym, you know, or you're struggling <laughs> or whatever, because it's it's true, right. right? It's February, people tend to, you know, dip out, uh, and all that. But, um, you know, this is especially winter-ish, still kind of getting closer to spring, depending on where you are, especially if you're in the Midwest, right. you know. And so, um, what are some practical things that you could say to anybody, rather they're an artist or business person, you know, what whatever kind of hat lane that you want to uh, filter through? But uh, some practical steps for somebody who's like, man, uh, I've been wanting to get some consistency. I've been wanting to get some discipline. Uh, every time I feel like I'm getting a little bit closer, I feel like I fall down instead, and, mm -hmm. and I'm going backwards. Um, what are either, like I said, some some words of encouragement or some practical steps? that can help somebody who is just feeling that constant cycle of adversity where it's like every two steps forward, I try to right. go, I've got five steps that end up hitting me back. Mm. I would say, man, first and foremost, because I've been there, write the vision down and make mm. it plain. Um, mm. So every day you wake up, every day I wake up, I see my goals, I see my dreams. Yeah. Whatever I'm trying to get done, I see them on this little calendar I got downstairs. First and foremost, write it down. Make the vision plain. That's biblical. And also, just know that, like, you don't got it. Like, perfection is overrated. Like, you don't got to be, per like, perfect at every single thing. Yeah. And just show up for yourself every single day. You don't got to get it done. Yeah, that's good. That that task or that goal or whatever have you just show up for yourself every single day. And uh, I, I promise, man, you'll get a, even if it's a piece of satisf satisfaction, just showing up, man. Um, mm. That's just what I've been doing. I don't care every, every single day, you know, that I'm home, I spend time with my family, but mm -hmm. I'm, I'm, I'm touching the music, you know, I'm making the beats, I'm producing, or I'm recording, I'm showing up every single day for this thing that I, said I want, you know, this thing that I said I'm pursuing. If yeah. you don't show up, you're not going to see the results. You're going to be like, man, I should, I could have back in my days. Mm. Just, just show up, show up. Even if you don't complete nothing, just show up. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. That's, that's a good take, bro. Uh, showing up for yourself. Uh, yep. it, that's, man, that's so important because it's, uh, at the end of the day, like, it's just you and God. I got a it's friend of mine, her name is Tanya. Shout out Tanya, but, like, you know, she'll be going through some stuff or whatever, and she's like, I, she goes, I'm just keeping being reminded at the end of the day, it's just me and God. Just me and yep. God. That's all it is. Just me and God. And so showing up for yourself, uh, not necessarily just for yourself, right, but, but uh, mm -hmm. showing up for yourself and being that consistency in your own life for yourself 
at the <laughs> end of the day, if you can't do that for yourself, then it's a lot harder for other areas to succeed because you're going to end up kind of being uh, just mm-hmm. a wave in the ocean, just getting tossed yeah. back and forth, depending on whatever your situation is. Come on. It can be the little things too, bro. Like every day, like since the past, I'll be honest, like the past two months, three months, I roll out of bed and just making the bed up. Yeah. Like that's yeah. just like, yeah. I just want to show up, you know, for myself in that way. As soon as I get out of the bed, make the bed, check, check that off the list of showing up for yourself mm-hmm. and, and, and try to conquer something else. Like try, it's, it's it's step by step, man. But it's the little things. Award, like, be proud of yourself for the little things that you showed up for as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's good. And and uh, and it's funny because uh, with with coaching, um, you know, with my gymnast, even tonight. Uh, so you know, we got competition this weekend coming up, and so uh, you know, I will. I'll just say on bars. Uh, so on bars. I was like, all right, okay, uh, I need five routines. Here's the requirements that I'm se- setting to be able to say that you've completed this you know, routine. And then uh, we try to go for it for a little bit. Sometimes I have them compete against one another, break them up teams, whatever. But then after it was all done, I saw a couple of them, you know, they're like, oh, man, I, I, didn't, I didn't score nothing for my team or I kept screwing mm-hmm. up or whatever. So when I saw that, I was like, okay, hey, guys, so you know, now with the time that we got left over, here's what I need y'all to do. I need you guys to go ahead and work on any skills that during your routines that you were trying to do that you were struggling on. But here's the caveat, though. Do not start with the hardest thing. Do not Mm -hmm. start with the thing that you know you struggle with the most because you're already feeling kind of down because you did not complete it the way that you wished you would have. Mm -hmm. So instead, find the smallest details in your routine that does not take much physical effort, just more mental effort, but that you know you can accomplish and get Come five on. to seven of those done and then move on to the next difficult and then the next difficult and try to Come work on. your way. And they were getting it, right? They were getting it. And then mm-hmm. I saw a couple of blank stairs and I said, here's why. Because if you can start doing these little things and winning in these you're going to build your confidence in like a snowball sure. rolling down the mountain and turning into this gigantic avalanche type thing. Mm-hmm. You're going to be able to have more confidence going into the most difficult skill or part of your life or where, whatever phase that you're in. And all those little wins, you'll be able to think back and go, okay, now wait a minute. I, I wanted to fix this about my life. I, I, discipline was an issue. I started making my bed. Mm. I make my bed regularly now. In fact, I can't even walk out my room without making my bed now. Right. Because <laughs> it feels weird. <laughs> like, it feels weird. I got to get it done. So you start reflecting back on that's those things. That's a word. Yeah. That's a good word, bro. Dang. Yeah. But I mean, that's but that's exactly what you were talking about. Just being, yeah, yeah. being disciplined, showing up, you know, for yourself. At what point do you, with being disciplined, with showing up for yourself, right, um, at what point does it ever get easy where you don't have to try as hard anymore? Mm. Man, it, you you start to catch a rhythm. I don't know. Like, if you keep showing up, you automatically catch a rhythm. It, it's like it's like it's on a string, man. Mm-hmm. Make your bed, take your boy to bed, uh, school, come back, cook up music every day. Like, mm-hmm. <laughs> eat, go back to. <laughs> Watch a little show, cook up. It becomes routine once you do it yeah. for X amount of days. It's like, bro, there's, yeah, there's no way that you can't see growth if you keep showing up. You got to see a little bit of growth. Yeah. And you may yeah. not see it, but people may see it. I mean, but we ain't in it for the trophies. We, we doing, we showing up for ourselves, man. Yeah. Yeah, no, that's good. I think I'd, I think I would also add to that um, is that I, I like that you said catch a rhythm because at first I was like, mm, that's not the answer that I was thinking of, but okay. <laughs> but no, but you're right. You're right. I mean, it wasn't until you said that. I was yeah. like, oh, yeah, I guess at some point you do kind of catch a rhythm. I, th- I think the answer that I would have said in my own head um, was that it never really gets easy. Yeah, that's true. 
and you will catch a rhythm. I think you that will. I think that kind of completes it. And for me, for me, that completes mm-hmm. the sentence uh, in my head. To answer mm-hmm. that question of does it ever get easy, it's like uh, it doesn't ever get easy, and you will not. But you right. will. Uh, it, it's you a, will. It's a, it's a conjunction with the fact that it's still going to be difficult. Mm-hmm. How how hard is it to get back on track though? Because it's just like anything else. You 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 catch that rhythm, but once you fall out of step with that rhythm, rather it's life, whatever. How how hard is it to get back on track? It's tough. Like I would say, it's super tough. But like, you got to get through like that mental roadblock. And mm-hmm. you know, for me, like I, I was a college basketball player, and I was really fit. I could really, you know, what I mean, really into sh- in shape. Yeah. And like, bro. I haven't hit the gym in like months. You know what I mean? Where I'm like, I look back at the old college guy and I'm like, who was that dude? <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, who is these McNeese right here with the <laughs> with the box? <laughs> look at that twenty pack like, abs. Where, 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 where yeah. all twenty of them come from? <laughs> I'm like, who is that? But yeah. when I look at those, like, you know, I looked at the college thing and I'm like. I can get back to to that point, but I have to get past this mental roadblock. And where I'm at in life now, yeah, just doing music on a consistent basis, I have to add that in a routine if I want to get back there. And yeah. if I if I say I want to get back there, I gotta I gotta step up to the plate. And if I don't, mm. I'm gonna just keep being that I could have uh, should have back in my day. Go. <sighs> I'm know? glad, bro. I'm so glad you said that last part right there. Cause, Cause I was just about to say, I'm like, cause if you're, if you're in this cycle, you know, that mm-hmm. we're talking about where it's like, okay, you catch a rhythm for a little while, you start working really hard. Uh, you know, you, you feel in yourself and then all mm-hmm. of a sudden you get a little bit lazy somewhere and then you're back down here. And then from there, you know, then you're working really hard uphill again and you get to that point. I would say, and this is a, this is, this is me calling out me. Okay? Mm-hmm. This is, this is integrity talking about integrity now. <laughs> If you keep doing that cycle, just be honest and say you really don't want to be better. Right, right. Just be you honest don't. and say, nah, you, it's a good idea. It sounds good in your head, but you've not set yourself up to overcome this cycle of whatever it may be, right? You don't want it as bad as you think you want it. The idea... Yeah. Yeah, the idea just looks good to you. You know, like, yeah. I would say that to myself, like, the the idea of that thing looks good to obtain, but you won't do nothing to work towards it. Like, mm-hmm. words need to carry action. And if they don't carry action, words are invalid. So. Mm, that's good. That's yeah. good, bro. Yeah. Well, you know, and uh, I think, we'd probably both agree to this too, is that you need to surround yourself around people who are going where you want to go or, or have already facts. been where you're trying to go. Thanks, bro. That's talk facts. About, talk about that. Cause I know, I know you've had, I'm sure plenty of encounters where you're able to connect with people who have been there, done that, or mm-hmm. is doing it at a better rate than you're able to produce right now. Um, yep. What does that do for you, man? Uh, let's say, let's use, let's use Beacon for instance. Yeah. You know, shout out to Beacon Light. So I was Beacon's DJ for what, five, maybe five, six years or whatever. So every room that Beacon would step in, whether it's with, you know, a record label or anybody, you know, the movie people now. Yeah. Yeah. Like I'm right there learning from Beacon's moves. I'm right there learning from his actions and everything and everything he's doing. It's not only encouraging to see my brother go after these things mm-hmm. it's showing me that i can obtain these things mm-hmm. yeah. so you know the whole school circle like beacon introduced me to that avenue yep. and yep. now i do that on a consistent basis now where the the association the, the people that you're associated with um, man, I, I feel like there's so much value in it if they're 
if you're associated to to people who are moving in a good direction, mm -hmm. like because they can rub off on you, you know. So um, yeah. Beacon, yeah, Stephen. Um, you know, I first got down to Grand Rapids. Stephen took me under his wing, but Beacon ended up becoming like my, you know, mm -hmm. Stephen's my brother, but Beacon became my mentor, my brother, my, you know, somebody. I'm like, dang. This dude is getting placements. Yeah. What the heck? I'm <laughs> and now we hitting the road. Like we hit the road the next day and he like, Oh yeah, bro, I just got a placement, man. They it was only this I'm like, bro, what? <laughs> I can do it. I can do it, bro. So I think yeah. the company that you keep, yeah, it, it means a lot. Yeah, I think I think what you said there was really important, which was when you surround yourself around people, when you when you start looking at others as attainable, yeah, um, it makes you work differently. Yeah, yeah, I, I think that's a beautiful example. Uh, again, just because I'm in competition season, my brain keeps going back to my athletes. Mm -hmm. But so this past Friday, um, it was a quad uh, meet for for it was a college meet, uh, Lindenwood, Mizzou, uh, the Florida Gators and a line eye okay fighting line eye so those four teams and before we had even gone to the competition i've, I've said this at other competitions when there's some higher levels around and I'll, I'll see some of my my upper level gymnasts you know ooh and an on you know when they're right, seeing right. They're like, oh my god it's so cool it's so cool oh my gosh i could never right mm -hmm. you want to get me upset tell me you could never Right, right. Tell me it's not attainable without you never even trying it or Come on. not seeing that you're actually not that far. So I've gone mm -hmm. on so many different lecture runs with them where I tell them, hey, listen, you, you want to be better. You want to you want to succeed in this sport. You want to succeed in just things in general. Mm -hmm. When you are seeing somebody attain something great, stop being stop marveling at them. Like right. it's okay to go, wow, that's amazing. That's awesome. Look how hard they work. That is that's not what I'm talking about. Yeah. You know what I'm talking about? That that mentality where it's just like, oh, that's so cool for you. Like I just wish I wish I could be able to do that, but I just don't think I'll ever be able to. And you ain't gave it a shot. And and not not only you you haven't even given it a shot, I've told my athletes all the time, all of your basic skills that you have. You add one basic skill plus another plus another equals that really hard skill that you just saw that you oh, thought was unattainable. And oh. when I started making them think that way, they started looking like, oh, yeah. And so, like, as they're doing certain things, I said, okay, you see what they're doing right there? That's this drill, this drill, and this drill. You've done all three of those drills before, right? They're like, yeah. I said, well, guess what? You do all those drills, put them together on the bar, you got that same skill. Come on. Financially. You see somebody right. succeeding in something. Mm -hmm. Have you ever saved for a shirt? <laughs> have you ever done, you know, have you ever done those necessary steps to be able to, to finally make the purchase of whatever? Yes. Come on, bro. Well, they did the same thing too. Come on. Now, are there some investments? Are there other variables and all that? A absolutely. But you, you can't keep rabbit trailing down all the couldas and shouldas and well, they had this and I don't have that. Stop it. What do you Stop have? It. What is similar? to what you have right now and then what can you do with what you've got because you bro the lighting that i have in here yes <laughs> I, I would love i would love to get to a point where mm -hmm. you know i change it up and do this whatever you you donated this this is lighting, crazy. lighting brought to you by cultivate culture hey hey oxen got it now it look good over there bro due to cultivate culture i have ran Every single podcast That's for crazy. at least a year with these lights. I've That's encouraging. Switch the man. studio around. I've done so many in studio, and I was only able to do in studio because of the lighting brought to you by Cultivate Culture. That's encouraging. Morris. That's encouraging, bro. Like, yeah, man. Like you know, and bro, you know, if, if we talking about blessing others, man, you you bless me in ways where. You know, just that one trip that I remember I came down there mm -hmm. 
And I think we sat in the living room for, it was your dining room area or whatever. Yeah, yeah. And bro, you, you gave me a ton of, you know, uh, DJ packs. You you showed me how to scratch a little bit, even though I, I, I still don't scratch. But yeah, you, you showed yeah. me that like, yo, Kiwi, you can do this. You just have to be you. Embody the DJ and whole style with, with who you are. Mm-hmm. And bro, how you kickstart that off for me? Bro, I'm. It's a blessing, bro, to see you know you do all these interviews. You because you blessed me down, and you know it comes full circle. Mm-hmm. Yeah, people don't know, bro. I do a ton of shows, but before I was doing a ton of shows that I was DJing at, I had to learn from somewhere. And bro, you were like the first ever DJ to be like, "Yo, Kiwi, I got you." Yeah, and you know what, Kiwi, I I got you to the point. Make sure you bring your hard drive, because I'm just about to dump. <laughs> yeah. Bro, bro, you dumped a ton on my hard drive. I mean, I still, I still to this day, rock out with what you gave me. That's dope, man. That's crazy, bro. You know them? We can't, I won't get it. The, the uh, Y'all ain't going to know what I'm rocking, but you know the uh, <laughs> the uh, DJ uh, sets and everything. Yeah, yeah. I can't tell y'all, man. What? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, no, for sure. Yeah, just uh, do just do with you know uh, the 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 takeaway from the, all of this is, uh, for whoever's listening, you know, mm-hmm. if you're if you're dealing with any kind of adversity, understand um, one that's just part of life. Two, yeah. hopefully your foundation isn't built on sand, right? And then there's actually a firm foundation, which we would hope it would be Jesus. Right. Right. Because at the end of the day, if you and I were no longer DJs, if we were no longer any kind of photographer, videographers, if we if we were no mm-hmm. longer any of those things, we're still a son of God. Right. Right. We are still the son of the most high. And in a good space, it's easy to say that. It's different to live that out right. when times are tough. And I get that. I am not invalidating anybody who might be really struggling with something. That's true. And... I'm also not leaving room for a plan B. Right. I don't, I don't want to give myself an option, right? I should be pushing through it as you are conquering adversity. Try to do it the smallest way possible. Mm -hmm. Right. Find those little wins that you can accumulate to bigger wins and keep going Mm -hmm. and keep going until you finally achieve whatever that goal might have been for you. And then, and then, and here's the important part, and I want to, I want you to touch on this really fast. Um, well, not really fast. You don't have to rush it. But uh, once you've gotten to a certain point, pause, reflect, and rejoice. Mm-hmm. Give yourself time to rejoice those things. Don't just keep chasing for the next thing. So right. uh, can you talk about that, bro? Um, is there a time of which that you uh, have ever made sure that you kind of sat back and allowed yourself to really thank the Lord for what he's brought you through? Man, that's every day I wake up, bro. I just be like, dang, mm. I just want to thank God for my family. I want to thank God that I get to wake up. You know, I get, I get the opportunity to do what I love. Yeah. Yeah. I rejoice every day, man, because, you know, a lot of people where I'm from, they just took a different route, man. So <laughs> I'm rejoicing right now that I get to do an interview of, you know, based off of, you know, who I am and what the gifts that God's given me. Like, I re- I'm rejoicing right now. Yeah. Yeah. No, yeah, that's good. It's definitely good to stay in that, that state of gratefulness. Mm-hmm. Where, where you're where you're intentionally being grateful uh every single day but yeah there there mm-hmm. are definitely times where it it would be good to just stop for a moment I, it, it's 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 honestly it's the sabbath <laughs> it's mm-hmm. it's learn how to just stop and trust that god has got you well i still mm-hmm. got bills to pay I, you do absolutely what are you going to do when you run your body to the ground and then you can't do anything else but, uh, mm-hmm. we as fathers bro like 
we know that there's some grind and we know that we got some late nights and this, that, and the other, but we also know you do it for too long and now you mm-hmm. no longer can Tired. really be with your kid. Mm-hmm. You no longer have enough strength or energy to to show the love that you need to for your spouse. Mm-hmm. That's You'd difficult. Be crazy to her. Yeah. Um, I I so I we don't have your new single, but there is a new single that's coming out. We've got the link up for your your wait list. Um, I, you know, I kind of want to just close out on talking about uh that song and just kind of your. Your your hopes for you know because you've been putting out records for a while so it's like what 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 is the what is the new hope that you have you know for this song uh, sunshine so man sunshine is actually an album mm. so um, you know I haven't put out an album in seven years and wow. yeah bro since Barnabas um, so my granny she she named me sunshine at a young age. And I wrestle with the name because it's like sunshine, you know, it don't sound tough. <laughs> yeah. It don't sound tough at all, but <laughs> yeah, don't say that on the court. Does he? Yeah, I can't sunshine. I can't you know. <laughs> but my granny named me Sunshine because she she said, uh, you know, you can give me a small window or whatever, the light that God has placed in my heart, like I'm gonna shine it through. Mm. You know, like the sun. So everywhere I go, I try to, you know, you know, exuberate that like sunshine that that yeah. that's in my heart, and we all have light in our heart that's eager to shine. But you just gotta, you know that that's you know you lining up with your purpose, tapping into your calling. Yeah, you know. So yeah, this this body of work, man, is personal. I produced you know a lot of the tracks on there. Um, oh, cool. So it's not gonna be like just a a lot of collab. Uh, collections of your old stuff it's gonna be new stuff it's all new stuff um mm, come on. you probably heard one song on there before um yeah. which that song comes out this friday and then i'm dropping the album march the first um and what i'm doing with the album is uh it's a proud to pay method you know um i'm not dropping it on spotify apple music asap i'm coming directly to the fans mm. you know i got X amount of supporters. I'm giving it to the people who want to cultivate culture like that. And we'll give it to Spotify, Apple Music, all that stuff down the line, you mm-hmm. know, for free. But I kind of want to do something different, totally different. Um, yeah. You know, you pay whatever you want. I can't tell you what the art is valued in your eyes. So yeah, you may pay a dollar, you may pay two, whatever it is, you know. You may pay you know hundred, you may pay two. <laughs> you may... You may pay a million and make us both rich, you know, <laughs> so, you know, whatever it is, I'm grateful, but yeah. I, I wanted to take that stance on the the music, man. Cause initially we can't live off 0.003 cent. Like, Mm-mm. like my family can't eat off that, you know? So, um, I got to get it to the people who really are involved in what we have going like that. And then, down the line, we will give it to Spotify and Apple, all that for free. Initially, you got to think of you giving it to those folks for free. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. But yeah, man, we just trying to figure out, you know, as we go. But that's the movement. That's the move we going for. That's good, bro. Yeah, yeah. that's fun. That's uh. Now, is that does that motivate you, or is that kind of also make you a little tense of like, okay. Who's actually going to rock with this, though? Yeah. I, yeah, it, it motivates me. It makes me nervous a bit. Mm-hmm. But my wife just came here. Hey. Hey. It um, motiv- it said, it said, hey. But it motivates me. It makes me nervous a bit. But it's like, yeah. bro, they're they going to show up. I got I got some people who going to show up, you know. That's what's up. And... and Versus, you know, on Spotify, Apple, all that, you get paid every other quarter. We get paid, right? Direct to consumer. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So, oh, the turnaround, for sure. So take that, put that right back into the to the machine, so. Yeah. Get rid of this, I'll let you go to sleep. Sorry. Love you. 
Real life. <laughs> this is real life, man. I love it. I love it. This is exactly exactly what it is. Listen, you know, we not Now we back in the vibe. We not, <laughs> we, we not we not joking around when it's like when we're saying like, hey, you really just grind it. Like you gotta <laughs> It's just it's a, it's a different thing for sure, and yes, and and I would agree. This is the, this is the beauty of live. I think this is why I actually uh, enjoy going live uh, more than anything else. Yeah. Um, I think because of all the editing and production side of things or whatever, you know, that I'll do or whatever. Um, it is, yeah. It it is actually good to be nice. It, uh, to to be honest, it's just it's just nice that it's like, oh yeah, oh look. <laughs> oh yep see we talked about him being a family man yep oh there's his wife oh right. <laughs> he didn't tell her hey quiet down i'm still on the here on the interview he didn't say hang on i'm almost done <laughs> he just went oh oh you trying to go to bed oh, right. <laughs> love you <laughs> that's i love it i love it because i mean so uncut ain't it <laughs> it yeah oh yeah yeah for sure but like discipleship just in general like how are you truly discipled you just really are doing life with somebody you right. see what it looks like while they are spending time communicating with you and then somebody pops up and then you, they don't say oh hey sorry this is our this is our meeting time right now we're mm -hmm. we're trying to we're trying to get in this word or whatever instead you just you, put, you have the conversation you do whatever it is you you allow life to happen cuz i mean i can't i can't say there's anybody in my life that has actually physically walked through scripture with me mm -hmm. until way later into my walk yeah. but they physically walked out the scriptures and right. that's how i saw it being done in such a way of like oh oh this is what it looks like to go ahead just pray for somebody as soon as they tell you hey this, this is going on or i'm hoping for this or this is feeling bad or whatever oh you right. just straight up stopped and said okay i'm gonna pray for you right now it's like oh we could do it right now right. <laughs> like, cool okay oh that's what right. it's like to go ahead and to to buy somebody's lunch because right. <laughs> they just got done either they just got done talking about having a hard time or whatever or you know later on we get in the car and then you're like yeah i just felt like the holy spirit told me i was supposed to buy that person's lunch come on bro it's like oh the holy spirit be talking to you like that <laughs> you tapped in like that <laughs> yeah yeah no nah, for real i felt that no nah, that's cool bro that's cool well i do know uh it is later at your house and i do appreciate you coming on uh you know especially last minute being but i but i was excited uh i was excited when this shit was like hey Keevy said he'd be down i'm like oh my gosh yeah, yeah. like like literally yeah. i think <laughs> i think the last time we talked like for real for real talk was the last time we had you on, on the show when, bro like when was that no that one november yeah 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 it wasn't too too long i mean it was a couple months yeah. but still yeah but yeah yeah but i was just like oh yeah, I mean, I've been meaning to call him anyways, but let's just go have, have right. this conversation on live. <laughs> right. So it's, a, it's like a live uh, FaceTime call. Yeah, right, <laughs> right, right, with a little right. production behind it. That's it. Right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, that's good, bro. Uh, that's good. Yes, thank you, Kiwi. Uh, yeah, for, appreciate you. Uh, for asking if Monday was still open. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um. But all right, bro. Well, hey, listen. Um. Uh, I, I I see you from afar, praying for you from afar, bro. Um, you know, I haven't, man, I, bro, I haven't even traveled to Michigan in a long time to do yeah. an event. And if I did, it was literally a 24 hour turnaround. Yeah. You were, uh, supposed to be at, uh, yeah, I thought you were going to be at, uh, where you at? Yeah. Yep. I got, by the time they asked me, I had already been booked for something else. Man. So, yeah, it was it was cool. It was all right. but I was I was looking for you for sure. Yeah, yeah. Did did they have you a DJ? No, nah, I oh. I went in there. I did like three songs. Hung out with the kid. Mm. End up staying. Um, but Monk ended up DJing. Oh wow! Yeah, so you know he giving that boom back. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I okay. Sometime off air. I'm just gonna say it now, cause I for, or else I forget. Sometimes off air, <laughs> I gotta see if you're available to see if you could do an event uh, for me that I'm I'm supposed to go to. It's for the Dream Center. 
Mm. But um, I got an opportunity. Um, I got a personal invite from uh, an Olympic coach to go to one of their uh, camps at their gym that they own. Um, mm-hmm. And the week, one of the weekends that they want me, or one of the weeks that they want me for, I don't have anything. Uh, one, I'm booked already for an entire week in Oklahoma for okay. a camp, and I can't yeah. do that. But then there's one week where a majority of my athletes are going to go, but I don't want to miss the first day, although they said I can miss the first day, but it's like, nah, you're not about yeah, to invite I know me. What you mean. And me, <laughs> and me <laughs> just kind of struck. No, no, because you, know, you know what it is when it comes to events. Like I know if that you, feeling. If you're there right there from the beginning, you start building relationships like that. Mm-hmm. And and not just with the um, not not just with the 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 coaches, but with all the different athletes too. Yeah. Right. I mean, we we know we work with kids all the time. Like mm-hmm. you, especially at camps and stuff. Like you, you get in the very first day. That's that's the tone for the whole week. And so if you jump in day two and they've already established like, a lot of relationships, you? yeah. They're like, <laughs> okay, dude, why are you coming in so hot right now? Right. <laughs> you know, like yeah. <laughs> Bro, that's I think that's big to start off. Yeah, like you got to start off something instead of just jumping, hurry up and jumping in the groove. Like, yeah, because yeah, it's it's weird because you didn't come off. You, you don't know the energy of what you're jumping into. You just come in with, yep. you know, so, yeah. 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 Yep, for sure. Okay, so. um, Yeah, let me know, man. You got, uh, you got anything coming up? Uh, so you got the single dropping up on Friday. Uh, you got the album coming. Is that does that got a date already? The al- album coming uh March first. Okay. Oh, so boom, boom, right? I like that. Um, what other what other things you got coming in twenty four that you are excited to share about and that you you pr- or you you praying about? Uh, shoot, back to back singles. We got the recovery tour. Um. We got, you know, a few camps coming up. Uh, my Spotify plaque coming in the mail. It'll be hanging up there. Hey, okay. Um, we got the plaque. We got the... Yeah. We got some stuff in the works, man. And, uh, yeah, we're praying that this year is one of those years. It's a breakthrough year. Mm. You know, because I'm ready. I-, I feel like the music has changed my family's life, but I'm ready ready for it to create a huge impact, wh- whatever that looks like, you know? Mm. Yeah. So, yeah. Take it to the next, next level. Up. The next level. Yeah. Uh, it's, this is what I make all my beats on. Like my, my, uh, my thing is messy, but I make all my beats right here. It's my little machine. You can see. Uh, it's my uh, vinyl. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I got, I got vinyl players, you know, I'm, you know how I sample some sample. stuff. Sample, sample. That's yeah, what's up. We know, we know how to get them cleared. I don't got a big setup, man, but I be getting thousands of streams, and I record all my music right here. Yep, as as Nisha said, Mister Million Streams. Mister Million Streams, right here, from right here. <laughs> <laughs> People be like, I gotta go to the big studio. I need to go to I'm Nashville. Just, you don't. I need to go to Nashville. I'm in my front room. <laughs> like making music. I even got King this. King started DJ well producing a little bit. Okay. Mm-hmm. That's cool. Like all uh, right here in my living room. You know what? That reminds me. I got a I got a small little cheer event that my gym is putting on this Sunday. I've been mm-hmm. meaning to have both my boys like train, retrain, because I did train them a little bit for DJing, but like retrain them. That just reminds me, like, okay. Yep. This Sunday. I don't care what y'all want to do. No, you're not staying home to play VR or yep. Switch. You're not doing Minecraft. Y'all going to go to this event with me, and you're going to be doing this in real time. In real time. You coming with me in real time. Like, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. you never know. Your ba- you may need your baby boys one day. Oh, no, that's the plan. That's not even a, mm-hmm. you don't even know. Like, that's my, like, I okay, I, I love being able to have my MCs with me. Uh, mm-hmm. you know, and, and they do great. And, and, uh, I want to be able to invest into other families and I want my family to be invested in what it is that I'm doing. It doesn't mean that they got to be a DJ or whatever, but 
you're going to get these experiences, right? And I'll just be honest. I could pay you way less. <laughs> I could, Come on. I could, I could pay, I'm going to pay you, but I can pay you way less because you are not a married man with kids like my other MCs are. <laughs> so, Come on. Talk uh, that. Talk I'm, that. I'm going I'm to I'm do that. But in return, you're going to learn a whole lot of stuff. But, yeah, no, that's – bro, that's that's the game plan. Like, I want to – and because I, I want to have my boys around just like you do. Like, 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 like what mm-hmm. you're doing, like, I love – I love the – you know, when I see how you you bring your son along. And, and, mm-hmm. and I'm sure there are some times where it's like, yo, it would be cool, you know, if I could just go ahead and do this without having to worry about my son. I could Then I could really talk and go everywhere. That's that's definitely part of it. Uh, right. But – there's also there's also this time that you'll never get back. You Come know? on. You'll never have him at this age doing these things with you. You know, Come again. Um uh, this just says child labor. <laughs> <laughs> You're darn right. I believe in all nah. that. Yep. No, nah, man, that ain't child labor, girl. That's, oh, hey, this, that's this child labor? Oh, hundred yeah, percent. It, 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 it is. This is no, it is. It is. <laughs> Yep, they are working for the food and the house that they have. Oh my goodness, that's You're true. You're welcome. You're welcome, gentlemen. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, I'm just rambling now. Hey, man, uh, thank you for your time, bro. Uh, I, I thank love you, being bro. able to catch up with you. Um, again, I love what you're doing from afar. I, I do see it, um, you know. And and uh, yeah, man, I like. I, I'll be honest, like you know, there's there, there have been plenty of random times where I don't know about you, like you know, I'll be driving or whatever, and then somebody's name pops up your name pops up and i'm just like oh lord i just mm-hmm. thank you Kiwi. i just pray that you be with him protect mm-hmm. him right boom, boom. um so just know that i still got mad love for you bro even if we don't talk a whole lot man, man like, likewise just, I'm, I'm always here for you bro hey i appreciate you more than you know bro and you keep doing your thing man keep being a light yes sir yes sir yeah. I, I shall try so all right bro i'll let you bounce i'll talk to you later all right. man. All right, bro. Peace. Love you, man. Peace. Love you, bro. Woo! It's good times. Good times. Yeah. Oh, 100% child labor. <laughs> I'm a product. <laughs> I am a product of child labor. Absolutely. Uh, with my MV7, you can pay everyone. Thank you, Squared Mo. I'm just going to put this on the screen so that people know that I'm not, I'm not just saying this. So... <laughs> All right. Um, uh, speaking of my sons, uh, they should be home now, back from basketball, and uh, my wife's at work, so that means I need to go, go be dad. Um, uh, <laughs> uh, sorry, I'm just I'm reading the chat. My bad. Live, uh, YouTube, uh, Twitches, Twitches got some, some bots ish in there, so. All right, well, hey, uh, I'm going to pray this out. Lord, I thank you so much for today. I thank you for the opportunity to not only be here uh, and be present, but to be able to have the conversation that we did with Kiwi. May today's episode uh, be a blessing to anybody who's going through adversity, uh, finding ways to uh, practical steps to be able to push through, some encouragements, um, and maybe just some some points that uh, people can relate to, Father. Use this replay um, however you may see fit. Lord, may you be with everybody um, uh, with the different things that you've called them to. Um, and Lord, may we understand the difference between um, being called to do something and just wanting to, to do something, Father. Um, give us clarity for those who are seeking out clarity and wisdom in their situations, um, rather it be finances, opportunities, whatever that may be. Lord, I pray for those who are grieving um, uh, right now because of the, the uh, a sudden loss of a loved one. Uh, Father, I'm specifically praying for um, Pastor Michael, uh, who just lost his wife last week, um, just suddenly and, and such at a young age. Father, um, I just pray that you would uh, comfort that family who is dealing with that and uh, just the community who is impacted by her. Uh, from from all over father uh she impacted me even directly father and so um i thank you for uh leslie's life um father and that um that her memory uh would continue to really pour into people um and draw people near to to you father 
Uh, Lord, I pray for um, for Pastor Rick Hufton, uh, who's dealing with uh, stomach cancer stuff. Uh, Lord, I pray that you would help them uh, in this time, that you would help him um, going through that process, Father, and what that process is going to look like. May you give him the strength and wisdom and clarity uh, for him and his family as to what the next steps are uh, and to how to um, just attack this thing, Father. And so we also do pray for healing, Lord, for total healing on that, um, that it would not be this long fight, ongoing thing, uh, but that you would heal him, Lord, and that you are healing him right now, Lord. Lord, we thank you for Don Reddy, uh, who has um, taken his final chemotherapy, Lord. May you strengthen his body and uh, continue to help him fight uh, fight the good fight, Lord, as he continues to submit his life to you each and every day, Father. Lord, we just pray for any of those who are lacking peace uh, in any situation. Uh, may you give them the strength to be able to make that decision that they are uh, that they are well aware that they need to, uh, but they just have not done so uh, as of yet, Father. And uh, yeah, we just pray for you, um, for everybody here on the stream, on the replay. And I just thank you, uh, Lord, for uh, for this platform and this ability to be able to do this, Father. Um, may I not just do this just to do this, but may I do this all with the purpose of bringing you glory. In Jesus' name, amen. All right, y'all. Till next time. Thank you, Nisha, as always, for being here and modding and modding my life as well. <laughs> Love you, Jiga. Adios. Grace and peace. Adios, everybody. Hey, if you liked any of this content and you found some value in it, make sure that you like, subscribe, and of course, share it. Also, if you're interested in some more, go ahead and check out these videos. Till next time, grace and peace. Adios. Adios.